Poi is a captivating art filled with eye-catching tricks, but are all tricks created equal? Today I'm going to share with you five that I think have that special sauce. Drex here from DrexFactor.com bringing you Poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain, and today I'm counting down my top five Poi tricks with Wow Factor. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these amazing companies and how they support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links to each of them down in the description of this video. Some Poi tricks just have that je ne sais quoi. You know it, and I know it. We all learn the three beat weave at some point, but I don't know that any of us would look at it and say that it has a guaranteed wow factor to it. But there are tricks that do, and it's surprisingly tricky to put a list like that together. After all, wow factor can be really subjective. What's jaw-dropping to me may not be that interesting to other people, and vice versa. Plus which, as a decade plus veteran of poi spinning, there are certain things that when I see them, I know a lot of work went into them. Whereas the average audience member might not. So my criteria for this list is as follows. Number one, the trick has to be relatively common in the poi world. That is, it's not something that only one or two people out there can actually do. Number two, it has to be something that even non-flow people can see and appreciate. It can't just be the latest impossible hybrid that has four syllables, but looks like a total mess to anyone that doesn't know what to look for. Number three, its wow factor has to be well established. Stuff that I've seen or done, and no matter how many times it pops up, it still gets a reaction. So with that in mind, here's my list for the top five poi tricks with wow factor. And real quick, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to help other people find this video, and to make sure that you're more likely to see it when my next video drops. Thanks. Number five, isolations. Isolations are one of those tricks that seriously look like pure magic. The idea is simple, but the execution is so difficult. You're trying to get the hand and poi to both orbit at the same distance from the center of the tether. And it's surprisingly hard to pull off. This is one of those rare poi techniques that actually takes a lot of practice and discipline over time to really nail and polish. And whether you've never seen poi spinning before or you've been doing it for decades, a clean isolation is one of those things that earns instant respect. Somehow, it's just something that everybody instinctively knows is a big deal and really difficult to pull off. And it's something that I've put together an entire course on, including drills and instructions on how to do isolations, as well as tricks that they're used for. You can find that course at my learning site at learn.drexfactor.com, and you can get 20% off of it by using the code 5WOW at checkout. Go see what all the fuss is about and add these to your toolbox. Number four, folding lines. So confession time. I knew that contact poi was a thing for years, but I didn't actually want to learn it until I saw these perform for the first time. Ronan had been doing basic forearm rolls for a while, but it never really grabbed me in any particular way. Then Surreal came out with his mana poi video and turned the whole poi world upside down. Not only did the tricks in that video inspire a generation of poi spinners to begin learning contact poi tricks, it also introduced many of us to the folding line, a trick borrowed from contact jugglers, but with a very unique twist. See, folding lines in contact juggling function very differently than they do with contact poi. For poi spinners, this trick relies on a knowledge of body tracing and manipulating the momentum of the tether. And it never fails! When I'm spinning in the park and random people are walking by, I do this trick and that's the moment when people stop and watch and wind up with their jaws on the ground. Contact poi in itself tends to have a lot of wow factor, as do body tracers. Put the two together, and you've got a trick that just overloads on wow. Now, I've got a whole series of tutorials on contact poi that includes this trick, and I'll go ahead and link to it down in the description. Suffice it to say, this was the challenge that first got me into contact and is still my favorite go-to. Number three, Uta stalls. I know I'm stretching my criteria just a little bit, as these never became super popular, but seriously, they match every other criteria in spades. One of the first plane breaking tricks, this stall based trick created by Yuta Imamura snapped my brain like a twig when I first saw it performed. It's that perfect blend of dance and defying gravity that just looks so cool. Pirouettes are cool. Poi hanging in midair is cool. You put them together, what's not to like? Especially with the way that Yuta himself performs them, the movement is so smooth and controlled that the trick feels as flowy as it does brain melting. So seriously, can we get more people out there doing these? Because they're freaking awesome and they look amazing. Straight up. Number two, buzz saws. Ah, uh, yes, buzz saws. I'm sorry. There's a reason that the backbend buzz saw is a poi cliche. 
because it works. Audiences lose their mind over this trick, no matter how much tech spinners like myself like to make fun of it. Is it the poi coming so close to the body? The perceived danger of the poi should they fall out of plane? The level changes that come with it? All of the above? I couldn't tell you, but I do know that it works. And you know what? Good for it and good for the poi spinners that use it. If you're going to be a performer, I think it's helpful to have at least some low hanging fruit that's guaranteed to get a good reaction from your audience. Otherwise, that first year or two of spinning would be pretty boring and we might get fewer spinners out of it. And as a guy who's super into the dance side of poi, this works to allow you to find some really amazing shapes that you might not bother to otherwise explore. So I'll make my piece with the backbend buzzsaw but it'll be a cold day in hell when it gets the number one spot on any list video that I make. And that leads us to the trick that we've all been waiting for, the number one trick with Wow Factor, that most visually stunning and reliable crowd pleaser, and it's orbitals, duh. Number one, orbitals. So like everything good we can say about buzzsaws apply to this move as well and it goes so much faster. Orbitals are another one of those tricks that look to the uninitiated as though the rules of physics have just been suspended. The poi look like they're about to go wrong and then boom, mind blown. Near as I can tell, this is a trick that we kind of stole from the glow stringing world, but I'm going to say that we've found unique ways to add our own twist on it. We make this work by using a law of physics known as conservation of angular momentum to take the poi from bigger circles to smaller ones and revving up the speed in the process. Whether it be doing pirouettes with our orbitals, one-handed cartwheels, or the classic version where we just take the trick around our heads, there is no wrong answer for the ornamentation we throw on this one. Getting back out of it is always just a little sketchy, but hey, if that's the worst we can say about this trick, then we're doing pretty well. So yeah, my number one pick for the top poi trick with wow factor is orbitals. So like brainstorming for this video was actually super fun and I came up with so many ideas that I could easily do a second video on this topic. What tricks would you like to see me cover there? Let me know your suggestions down in the comments and let me know whether I covered your favorite wow factor trick here. And a huge thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. In fact, the idea for this video was one suggested by a supporter, so thank you for that. If you're enjoying the videos that I create and you have the means, and I totally understand if you don't, but if you do, consider signing up to support this channel over at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. In fact, this video was a subject that my supporters voted on. Please and thank you in advance.